So now that we connected our Active Campaign Pro Mini app towards the workspace, you are now able to use the integration inside any of your chatbots in this particular workspace. So I went ahead and created a simple opt-in flow for a user to be able to create the contact inside of Active Campaign. So if we take a look at this really simple flow, you will see that the first block is a question block where we are going to ask the user for their email. Then we're going to give a confirmation message and then we are going to create the contact over at Active Campaign. And then this final message is a response to see if the contact has been created successfully. And this is more of a test to see if it really works, yes or no. So before previewing this flow, let me just recreate this action step so you know where to find it. So if you want to create a contact at your Active Campaign account, the only thing you need to do is go and create an action block. From this action block, you will be able to go to Add Item, Integrations, and if you scroll down, you will see your Active Campaign Pro Mini app. From here, you're going to select an action. In this case, we are going to create a contact email we requested inside the question block. So we can just go with the saved value. Same goes with first name. In this case, we have the first name variable. We also have the last name variable. So let's go with that one as well. And if you want to export the user's phone number, you can do so, but it is not needed to create the contact. Then the next part is the response mapping, which is really, really important because this allows you to update the contact details of this particular user. So once this contact has been created, then you can also add tags, you can add this contact towards automations, you can remove them as a contact inside of Active Campaign, much, much more. But you will need this contact ID saved inside of a custom field. So I already created some custom fields for this. So for the contact ID, I'm going to basically add the user to the AC user ID. And then for the message, this is basically a test to see if the contact has been created successfully. And this is just for testing purposes. So I just want to map this towards the custom response field then save this. And then I'm going to continue towards the next step and output if the contact has been successfully created yes or no. So if I publish this and I'm going to preview this, so let's preview in Messenger. We should get the question block first. So let's take a look. What is the best email to reach you on? Let's go with this one. Then we will be seeing perfect. Soon I will send my first tip on how to start your dropshipping business the right way, Mark. And as you can see, this is the confirmation message that you see here. And then the next message that you see successfully created the contact. This is basically the output that we get from Active Campaign. Of course, after testing it, you can remove this uh, text block, but this is just to see if it worked yes or no. If we take a look at Active Campaign, you will see that the only contact is the one that created this Active Campaign account. But if I refresh, we now should get a new user available. And if we take a look, you will now see that this user has become available. So we have the full name and we have the email. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can add a tag towards a existing user inside of your ActiveCampaign account and also how to add them towards an automation.